Um, hey YouTube, Adrian back with you with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you the basics of how to lay out rafters. There's two methods that are commonly known and commonly used. And basically, the one, the first involves a framing square. And the second involves a speed square. I'm going to show you both. I'm going to start out with the, with the framing square. For our example today, we're going to use 612. Now, I'll quickly explain what 612 is. Basically, it means for every inch the roof goes up, the run is, is 12 inches. So, 6, 12. 6 is always the rise, 12 is always the run. Okay, so, for this illustration, you want to put the 6 on the on the bottom and the 12 right across from it you see that so i'm going to use for illustration purposes a black marker typically i would use a pencil now once again this video is not really aimed for the experienced carpenter this video is more for somebody who's starting out a first year learning. There you have it. There's a 612. This angle is known as the plumb cut. This, the long angle, is known as the seat cut. So, basically, if I was to cut this on a roof, it would sit something like that. Another way we can get this same angle is with a speed square. I'm sure all of you have seen a speed square, but I've known a bunch of people that have speed squares that don't know how to use all their functions. So to lay out a rafter with a speed square, you have to establish the pivot point. The pivot point is always against the fence and you rotate up to the, using the rafter table, which is the lower table, you rotate up to six. Now you wanna be careful not to use the hip scale in this example. So there you have it, six, 12. Now we still need to get a seat cut. Now to do that, we just repeat the process Six, 12. Notice we always work off the pivot point. Then we just take the right angle of that 612 and we scrap a line. So there you have it. Just two ways to basically get the same thing. Now, Another speed square you can use, and this comes in handy when you're using shorter pitches with longer runs. So if you're laying out a two by eight rafter and you want to do it one shot on the seat cut, you would use maybe an extendable speed square. This is something that can be bought at Home Depot for about 15 to $20. Some people ask me if I have, how do I know what the hip angle is? So basically if one side of your roof is a six and the other side, let's say for argument's sake, it's a 10. What you do, I'm sure a lot of you can do this in the head. You go 16, add both pitches, and then you divide by two. And now you know what your hip is gonna be. That brings us to our next example. So 
If we have a six on the back, 10 on the sides, our hip is gonna be 817. Now, how do we lay out 817? Basically, you just repeat the whole same process. But this time, instead of using the bottom scale, use the top scale. So if you look, our hip scale goes basically from one to 30. You just rotate using the same pivot and you would go to eight. And if you need a long measurement, you would do the same thing. Once again, taking the right angle. So if your boss called you out a long to long hip at 20 and three quarters, you would measure 20 and three quarters, and that's long to long. If you wanted a long to short measurement, it would basically go long to short. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that video and I hope that I could give you some information. Thank you and have a great night. Bye now.